Well, hello there. Welcome to It's a Dog's Breakfast, a cooking channel right here on YouTube. Today, we're going to do baked Alaska. Honestly, I can't even remember the last time that I saw a baked Alaska on a menu. And I haven't done it for maybe about 10 years, but I like it. Baked Alaska is essentially an ice cream dish. It's a frozen dessert. The secret about Baked Alaska is the insulation because you have to bake it, but you don't want the ice cream to melt. And I'm going to show you how to do that. It's a multi-step frozen dessert. We're going to make it in these custard cups and we're going to insulate the bottom of the cups with this pound cake that I got at the local grocery store. You can make your own if you wish, or you could use a brownie or a cookie or anything else that has air in it that will insulate the bottom of the dish from the ice cream. Because once we put the insulation in the bottom, then we're going to put some ice cream on top. Now, how do we insulate the ice cream outside? We do that with a meringue. And a meringue is simply egg whites, egg whites that are whipped, have a lot of air in them, and air provides the insulation. So we'll do it with some egg whites, we'll put some sugar in the egg whites, and a little bit of uh, cream of tartar as well. There's steps in there where we're going to put it back in the freezer to freeze again, we're going to bring it back out, and so on. But I'll show you those when we get to them. We'll cook it in the oven. We'll cook the meringue in the oven. The ice cream doesn't get cooked. Okay, so we'll cook the meringue in the oven. And to brown it up, if the oven doesn't do it, I have my trusty soldering torch. I don't have one of those fancy little gadgets that chefs and restaurants use, but this works just as well. In fact, maybe even better. All right, first thing we're going to do is take the cover off the ice cream and let it soften up a little bit. Today I'm using the vanilla bean, but you can use whatever you want. You can use raspberry, strawberry, heck, pistachio, whatever you want. It's up to you. I'm going to take the pound cake and cut it into probably three quarter inch slices and see how they fit in the bottom of the custard dish. And they fit pretty well, but there's a little bit on the side that isn't fitting. So I'm going to fill that in in a moment. As soon as I have all three with their first slice, then I'll make some smaller slices and add those in as well, because we don't want anything to disrupt our ice cream. And I'm just stuffing those down. It's okay to do. My hands are washed. Everything's clean. Did I mention that we're doing this for Billy's birthday tomorrow? Yeah. We're also doing a nice ham dinner for Easter, which I'll talk about more tomorrow. But this is the dessert. And this dessert can be done right away and eaten right away, but it's not necessarily recommended. Again, it takes time for this one. It's a multi-step process. Okay, we have the insulation on the bottom, as you can see. Now, we're going to put a scoop of ice cream, nicely rounded, on top of each one. And you want to be able to put the meringue around the ice cream. So don't have the ice cream touching the sides anywhere. Now you can put on as much or as little ice cream as you want. I know my neighbors and I know that they're not um, huge eaters, which is just fine with me. They have their life, I have mine. I tend not to be a huge eater either and I respect their wishes when it comes to food. Okay, we've now got 
three custard dishes with an insulation base and ice cream. What I'm going to do now is put these in the freezer and let them harden up. Now I'll be back. Hello there. Welcome back. Now we're going to make the meringue. What we want is three egg whites. Then we're going to put in a little bit of tartar sauce. And we'll start whipping them. As we whip them, we'll mix in some sugar as well. I did say tartar sauce, right? Cream of tartar, of course. Do not put tartar sauce in this. Tartar sauce is for fish. We're doing baked Alaska, though they do have nice fish up there. All right, I'm gonna whip this up. Only takes a couple of minutes. What we want is we want the texture to be uh, quite glossy, quite smooth, quite glossy, and the peaks to be quite hard. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a moment. Slowly we'll add the sugar in. And you don't need to be here for all of this. So I'll be back to you in a minute. Again, this takes two, three, four minutes. All right, you should be able to see that we have stiff peaks in there. You see the two of them standing up? That's the way it should look, texture-wise. Now, I'll go get the ice cream. Now, you can put the meringue on any way you like. Today, I'm going to very simply just do it with a spatula. Okay, but you could put it in a bag and pipe it on, which looks spectacular. You can use a spoon, but again today, I'll use a spatula. And I'll get right down inside there so that no heat can get on the ice cream. You could even, if you want, finish it off with a dollop on top. Looks just like a dairy cream ice dairy cream ice cream. Yeah, and just finish this up. Yeah, these are great. Now, I'm gonna put it in the fridge and we're going to eat it tomorrow. I'm gonna to let this harden up, and then I'm just gonna put a cap of tin foil on it. Doesn't need it for an overnight freeze, but I'm going to do it anyway. But, uh, but those will keep in the fridge for a week. All right, I'll see you tomorrow when we bake it. Well, hello there. I'm back. It's a dog's breakfast, a cooking channel. Yesterday, we started some baked Alaska because we knew that we would want to have a special dessert for Easter today for Billy and Judy and myself as well. Today is Billy's birthday as well. So we have two baked Alaska here. They're in a custard cup. We use a sponge cape as a bottom insulator. We put the ice cream on, and then we put some meringue on. Stiff peaks, nice meringue. I'm gonna put them in a 450 oven now for about four minutes till they start to brown. If they don't totally brown, that's okay. They're still cooked, the meringue is still cooked. But to add a little bit of brownness, I may get to use my torch. We'll see. See you in about four minutes.